Well, hello, my Sagittarius friends, and welcome to your spring 2022 reading. Um, I've shuffled the cards. They're so big and so cumbersome. I've shuffled them quite a bit uh, before I've turned the camera on, but I just want to shuffle them a little bit more so you can see that they're not contrived, and this reading is actually for you. And as I turn the cards over, they're just as much a surprise for me as they are for you. Today, I'm going to be reading The Good Tarot. I'm also going to pull a crystal for you for the season of spring. And then we're going to end with a money and the law of attraction mantra for you uh, to create some money in your life. All right. So let's get started. Okay, cards are ready. All right. Uh, two of Earth, juggling things. Can't make a decision. King of water. Yes. Emperor. Nice, strong cards here. Uh, four of water. Magician upright. Boy, you're getting some really good cards here, Sagittarius. Four of air. A messenger of air reversed. What's your thoughts? Uh, nine of water reversed, patience reversed, the tower, hierophant reversed, and five of water. Okay, and your 13th card is ten of fire. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get started. So in the, um, in the first uh, row here we have during the season of Aries uh, we start off with the two of earth making a decision um, about money or whether to go into business with somebody um, making a decision about investments could even be a job um, normally not a job but could be about a job because maybe you're looking at a job which job pays more um, but definitely you you have some indecision regarding money but um, this King of Water, he's looking at this card. This is an um, elderly male energy in your life. This could be a father, grandfather, uncle, even could be a trusted uh, mentor, could be a trusted boss. Uh, somebody whose emotions are really in tune. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it would be a partner. Um uh, because it's it, he is somebody who's uh, who's quite a bit older than you, and it could be your partner if he is quite a bit older than you. But he has some great advice for you, really great advice for you. Look at he's even holding his hand out there, going here. Let me help you with that. Um, so this decision that you have to make, um, go ask an elderly, um, fatherly figure in your life. Um, you know, what would they do? Because they really do have some great information for you. Um, again, I, that's why I, th I don't think it's a husband. I think it's it's somebody who is a great leader in your life. Somebody you look up to um, has the emperor energy. Like maybe this is somebody who has also been very successful in life, um, uh, is a leader in his field. Other people look up to him. Um that's who I would ask. They've got some great, great um, advice for you. And actually, they're going to tell you to maybe walk away from one of them completely and just focus on on one. And I think that's what they're going to do for you. They're going to um, um, tell you, yeah, just leave that one alone and go with that one when you have that four of water here. Um, and then you'll be really glad because you'll discover one of them um, you were just completely disinterested in it after all. Um, you couldn't even believe that um, you were interested in the first place. Uh, so that's great advice for you. And that's during the airy season. So watch out for this um, male energy in your life who's uh, um, obviously somebody um, older because they are distinguished as a leader. They are they are looked at as a um, mentor for not only you, for other people. Um, um, and the only thing, what I like with this blend here is that they're a leader, but they also have their emotions and empathy in check. Great, great advice for you. 
great advice for you. All right, and now we go on to tour season. Um, oh yeah, Aries season is April, or March 20th to about April 20th, give or take. And then we go into tour season, which is April 20th to May 20th, give or take. It changes every year. And then in tour season, we have the magician for you. Now, this is somebody who um, you can create whatever you want in this season. Um, I do see that you have um, the four of air here, meaning you might want to create um, spa-like conditions. You might want to create some rest and relaxation. Um, you may want to create um, a holiday. Uh, this is just, you know, relaxing and taking a, a, a big, big deep breath. Um, because also you've got the, the messenger of air. You have to be careful that you don't have self negative talking for yourself because you're, you will with the messenger here, you'll create that situation as well. And the reason I'm saying that is because the nine of water is uh, right after it. And so you're going to be careful what you wish for because you'll get it. That's what this Taurus energy is saying. Be careful what you wish for because you will get it. So don't wish for too much time off because maybe you'll get laid off your <laughs> off your job. Don't um, don't wish for um, um, you know too much time alone because you'll get your wish. Um, you know your relationship will end. So be careful what you wish for because you have this strong, strong magician energy, and you have the reverse messenger of air which is self is negative self-talk. If it was like this, I'd say, yeah, go for it. You've got law of attraction on your side. Um, you've got some great positive thoughts, but when messenger of air is reversed, that's um, negative self-talk, that's negative thoughts. Um, just, and, and that is a big, big, huge, if I got this line for myself, I'd, I'd be really, be careful what you wish for because you're going to get it um, and you're not going to like it. Right. So, you know, just like, well, how can you not like what you wish for? Well, you know, like I just said, if you wish for more time off, more, you know, I want to relax more. Well, then guess what? You end up getting the flu and you're off work for three weeks or right. I mean, the universe just hears for what you wish. They, they and then they um, dispose of of that to make sure that it happens. Um, you know, so and things like um, a lot of people say, oh, I wish I had. Um, you know, a new car and then you get a new car and you realize it's, it caught, you know, those payments you can't make anymore or the payments are too high or that kind of thing. So yes, take time to make sure what you wish for is exactly what you want because you're going to get it. That's a great, great message for a Taurus because um, the Taurus season, because Taurus season is also um, the beautiful things in our lives, like a beautiful home, beautiful clothes, beautiful when you do your makeup and your hair and, um, that's all Taurus stuff. So really be careful what you wish for that month because you'll get it. So wish for beautiful things to come into your life. That would be a great, great thing to do during Taurus season. Now we have Gemini season. Um, and I can, and your patience here is wearing thin in Gemini season, which is May 20th to June 20th, give or take. Um, you're having a hard time blending things together and your patience is wearing thin and you might decide to throw in the towel. Actually, this could be work. Um, maybe you've got new people at work and it's just not working out. Um, maybe you've taken on too much at work and it's just not working out. And it's actually going to blow up um, you, when you have this lack of patience. Um, things just start to fall apart um, when you can't blend things together. Things can't can't seem to fall can't seem to come together, and they just fall apart. Right? I don't know how many of you are cooks, but have you ever noticed if you um, overbeat some things, like for example, hollandaise sauce, it'll split. And that's exactly um, what's happening here. Or if you overbeat whipping cream, it splits and turns into butter and whey. And that's exactly what's happening here. Um, 
when you don't have the proper blending, when you don't have the proper patience, when you're losing your temper, things explode. I don't know a lot of Sagittarius that have a hot temper, to tell you the truth. They're usually, um, well, this is actually the Sagittarian card, the, the patience, um, the temperance. That's actually your card. Um, but when you are not behaving in a Sagittarian way and you do have a temper, things fall apart on you. And I think you know that. And, you know, I think this is a really good message here from because we have three major arcanas in a row. And this one, we have two reversals, bookending, a middle one. Um, there's somebody here who wants to get your attention to teach you something, to show you something, to guide you on something, and you aren't listening to them. And that's what's causing a lot of this um, impatience, this um, temper that's going to make this happen. Um, so what you need to do is in June, listen to other people that are guiding you, um, that are guiding you for your best interest. Like, let's go back to these people up here. Um, you might have to revisit that. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I think you're going to have to revisit that because otherwise you're going to be extremely disappointed. You're going to um, you're going to be disappointed when this this explodes like this because you're going to kick yourself in the butt because you didn't listen to this person who had good information for you. Um, so for example, if this is, um, let's say you're deciding between stocks or Bitcoin, stocks or Bitcoin, this isn't financial advice. It's a tarot reading. So you're deciding stocks or Bitcoin and these men are this man here who's a leader says, you know, if I were you, I'd put that into X, Y, Z stock. And you go, okay, well, I'll put some in X, Y, Z stock and some in, in, um, a little bit in Bitcoin. And then guess what? Bitcoin isn't doing well. And, be, and now you're losing money. And it's all because you didn't listen to those people. And now you're disappointed. What an analogy. I don't know why I came up with that. Um, so yeah, now you're, you're going to be very, very disappointed on how things kind of blow up for you. Um, if you go by impatience, um, this could even be um, a, a speeding ticket right? It doesn't have to be anything huge. This could be a speeding ticket. You're impatient. You um, are racing to get somewhere and a police officer stops you and gives you a ticket and now you're disappointed. So your 13th card here um, is the 10 of fire. And this is just juggling too much, Sagittarius. I think you're just juggling too much. I think um, that's why you become impatient um, that's why be careful what you wish for, cause you're going to get it. So if you're asking for more work, be careful. Um, you're going to be, you're going to end up juggling way too much. It's going to become burdensome rather than enjoyable. Um, and that's, uh, I think a great overall for you here. Cause we started the, the, um, reading with juggling. And here we go. We start with two things and we end up with 10. So that's a great um, warning card for you there. Uh, be careful what you wish for because you, you will get it. And uh, it's not always what you intended. So let's see what Crystal will help you through this. What crystal will help you through this spring of 2022? Will help you with your vibrations, help you see your wishes, uh, your intentions, your true intentions of your wishes, and keep that temper in check. That is, that is kind of foreign for you. Okay. Here's another one I've never heard of. Lepidolite. Lepidolite, L-E-P-I-D-O-L-I-T-E, -E, um, which is interesting because it's um, purple and purple is the color um, for Sagittarius. Um, so maybe that would bring you back down to your true Sagittarius calming. Um, so just get a small piece of this. Does not be expensive. Does not be jewelry. I just want you to get a small piece, tuck it in your bra, put it in your pocket, put it in your pillowcase and sleep with it. Don't just leave it on your bed night, 
stand or um, or put it in the bottom of your purse or car to get lost forever. It has to be close to you. And this will help you with the vibrations to be your best person, uh, to be your best self in for the spring. So let's see what law of attraction mantra can I leave you with for this spring? For my Sagittarians, what law of attraction? Rather than complaining, I will focus on positive aspects. Wow, there's your magician. Careful what you ask for. When you focus upon lack in an attitude of complaining, you establish a vibrational point of attraction that only gives you access to more thoughts of complaint. Your deliberate effort to tell a new story will establish a new pattern of thought, providing you with a new point of attraction from your present, about your past, and into your future. The simple effort of looking for positive aspects will set a new vibrational tone that will begin immediate traction of thoughts, people, circumstances, and things that are pleasing to you. Here we go. This is the exact patience card I was telling you about. That um, with your patience, your impatience, your complaining, that's going to create this tower for you. Um, and so here's the hero found. Here's my <laughs> advice is to not do that. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed. This card actually sums up the whole month of Gemini season for you. So rather than complaining, I will focus on positive aspects. And actually, that's really easy for Sagittarians. Most Sagittarians I know are overly positive anyways. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, Sagittarius. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>